Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a window motor on this 2003 Ford F-250 Super Duty. Same as any 01 to 07, uh, 250 or 350 Super Duty. And uh, one thing to, to note is that oftentimes when your window motor goes bad, it could be because parts of your regulator are going bad. So you may want to consider replacing your entire regulator. And we have a video for that as well. Tools you'll need 7mm, 8mm, 10mm, and 732s inch sockets with ratchet and extension, flat blade screwdriver, vice grip style or locking pliers, and some painter's tape. Okay, to prevent your battery from running down while you have your door open, um, disconnect the negative uh, cable. An alternative is you could just uh, pull out your uh, interior light bulbs, that way you can keep the battery connected and still be able to run the window up and down when you need to. Okay. Using a small flat blade screwdriver, take this lens, pop it off. Uh, mine's actually broken. Should pry out here. Pop it off. Okay, here you're going to do the same thing. You need to just kind of pull up your hand or use your screwdriver a little bit right at the front. Okay, pull that up, pull it forward, and then you disconnect all the harnesses. There's little push tabs on them. Push on the tab with your thumb. Okay, pull the harness here, push on the tab. Okay, here, tab here, push on it, remove it. Same thing here, you just pull down this trim panel. Okay, it's got two clips that hold it on. Now there are two seven millimeter bolts, one right there, and then one right there. 7 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension. A wrench would work as well. And fast forward as I just remove those two bolts. Okay. Once those two bolts are out, just lift it up on your panel, bring it out. Okay, and then in behind is your courtesy light. Just turn it counterclockwise and pull the socket out. And your door panel comes off. Do you want to remove? Remove your speaker too, and it's a 732 socket. Take the speaker out, and then there's a little tab here. Disconnect it. Remove your shield the rest of the way. I've got my I've got my switch plugged in and key on and actually you can see that my motor and regulator are working just fine. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do the worst case scenario which is if your uh, motor or regulator breaks in the out position. Okay, now disconnect your lead straight back here through the speaker hole. Just press pull and now remove these four bolts that hold the regulator and these two nuts that hold this track. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward as I remove the two nuts from the track um, and then also I remove um, three of the bolts that hold the regulator bracket and I'll slow back down here as I start removing the last one. You just saw my window, the window actually slipped down some. So that's actually the regulator turning. It's okay. Kind of holding the window with one hand. Pull this 
back out. And the whole thing comes down. Now you want to loosen two nuts. One there, and then when the window is low enough, you can see that one through there. And once you loosen those, then the track just slides forward and comes off. Now with those loose, track slides forward. Just be careful. Now my regulator is basically free from the window. Okay, now I can pull my window back up. Pull my window up. You can see I've got some painters tape up here. Place for right now. Back out here. Okay, this comes out, comes together. One thing you may want to check is make sure none of these are broken or worn out. If any of the mechanism is broken or worn out, you'll want to replace the whole regulator as well as motor. To remove the motor from the regulator, what you'll want to do is actually remove this balance spring first, a pair of locking or vice grip style pliers, put it on the end of the spring here, lock it on nice and tight, and just stand on the motor, pull the spring up. And then once it lets go, carefully release it. Okay, and take it off. Actually, just leave your pliers right on it. Turn this over. Three eight millimeter bolts. Okay, I'm just going to speed it up here as I remove those three eight millimeter bolts. And there's your motor off. New motor from Warney Auto. Okay, you can see it's the same. It is made to fit a few other applications, uh, so it does have this adapter harness. Okay, just to make this plug the exact same as the um, old plug. I'm actually just going to take a little bit of the grease off this old one, put it right around. You don't really need much, and it's all still pretty clean. So, just a little bit of grease to make sure the gears mesh well. Put it right in. Okay, make sure the holes are all lined up. This is on there. Fast forward again here as I just start those 8mm bolts in and then tighten them with my ratchet and socket. Uh, these bolts are self-threading so they are uh, they're usually a little bit difficult um, as far as how much uh, pressure or torque you have to use to put them in. Okay, so that's on there now. Okay, let's take our spring, put our foot on the motor. Okay, bring it around. I'm really pressing down with my foot right now. Okay, put that in there. Make sure this spring is right down where it should be. Started all four of these bolts back in. In. 
the regulator up and get all these bolts. So here's one bolt through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reconnect my harness here. Okay, it's kind of just held in place lightly. Reconnect your window switch. Turn the key on and hook up the battery obviously if you need to. Okay, I'm going to move the regulator down some. And that now allows me to easily put this into place. Okay, it also allows me to Put this into place. I'll tighten. Okay, I'm going to fast forward here. I start that nut on there and then tighten uh, both the nuts for the track and then tighten all four bolts that hold the uh, regulator and motor assembly. And bring your regulator down. Okay, so you can see this part here, and you can see the mounting hole right through here. Okay, so you can see where you mount the window on there. And then that right there. Take the tape off. Slide it down slowly. Okay. Now pull the track and the window together. Up here, make sure it's together. Now slide this back. Tighten those up. Okay, I'm going to suggest that here, since you have some extra length with this new harness, take your harness and just wrap it around uh, this main harness here a couple times okay and then connect these together that gives it enough uh, to get in behind the um, to get in behind the speaker but not interfere with the window at all okay now let's put it back together Test. Okay, I'll speed up as I put the water shield back on. What I like to do is find one point like where a screw goes through and you kind of line up that point and then go out from there. And then reinstall your speaker. Uh, make sure that you plug it in first. And then reinstall the four 732s bolts that hold it in place. Okay, to reinstall your door panel, what you want to do is take your bottom clips, and they're actually designed to just kind of go on here and rest in place. Okay, you can reach down, and put in your courtesy light, and turn it clockwise to lock it in. Okay, then make sure all these harnesses come up through. Okay, press it against, lift it up a little bit. Make sure your door lock comes through. Okay, press it against. You kind of lift it just up a little bit, push it in, and Bring it down on and make sure you're nice and tight against the door. 
nice and tight against the door over here. Okay, we'll speed it up again as I take those two 7mm screws, uh, put them in, and then tighten them up nice and firm. Okay, now I'm going to clip uh, the molding on up top to cover the mirror mounting holes. And then take my switch panel, reconnect all my harnesses. Okay, then I slide the tab back into the back first, uh, make sure the wires are getting pinched in there, and then clip it down in place, and it's all set. And if you disconnected your battery, then reconnect it and tighten up the 8mm bolt. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.